Hey guys, we're picking up the video on Friday, July 14th. Thursday is kind of fast tracked. You have to listen to that on the actual podcast. In the back of the car, you see Peter Cunningham's racing gear, and he has NSX Type S number 242 of 358. And that is the TSX. More on that race car later. Today, we're going to tour most of the track. One of the small things about Road America is there's cars everywhere, and you have to keep your head on a swivel, or you could get ran over. Throughout this video, you're gonna hear a lot of sounds, a lot of race cars. Sometimes I'm actually not going to be talking so you can kind of take it all in. This was the Triumph celebration this year. So there's a focus on the little Triumphs. There was a ton of these little tiny Triumph cars. This is from our breakfast spot. And you can see turn five over there in the corner. So we heard up and ate, we ate breakfast. Of, you, you could sit here all day if you really wanted to. Of course, the first thing you have to do, and this is the most accessible corner, in my opinion, for everyone with a great view, is turn five. We're not going to go in order here. We're just going to kind of go. See in the background, you have Collins Classic Auto. More on that later. Peter Cunningham's group coming up. Group 10. This is Peter Cunningham's first run of the day. This is qualifying. So we had two qualifying runs on Friday. One qualifying run on Saturday, a race on Saturday, and a race on Sunday. So you'll notice that he's not in first place. I don't remember the exact groups, so I'm just going to say GT1, GT2, GT3 in touring. He was in the touring group for the touring cars. At his horsepower, he was going up against guys that are two, three, four, five hundred 500 horsepower more. What you're looking at here is the inside of turn 12. That was the outside of turn 12 that you saw with Peter, but we jumped on the golf cart and went to the inside of the track. This next run group is a lot faster cars, more horsepower than the group that Peter was in. That C7R was hauling ass. Our friend Colin Comer is in this run group. There's Colin right there. You will see more on his car in a little bit. And one of my favorites that weekend is this R34. It is a legit Japanese touring car. We're on the golf cart trail right now from 12 to 11. We're not going in order here. How cool is that just to kind of be riding on a golf cart? This is an overlook. And actually, if you zoom in, you see right here, really slow, there's a BMW with his hood popped open. Poor guy. To the right, you can see the beach. I realize you guys probably can't hear me too much, but right now the prototype cars are going, and I used to watch the prototype cars all the time on speed vision back in the late 90s early 2000s pretty freaking cool you guys check it out let me know in the comments if you guys remember watching speed vision in the 90s and early 2000s i think the channel's back now but it went away for a while plus i didn't have like real cable i love these cars they're never gonna get old I haven't really been doing a lot of talking because it's loud and it's windy. Yeah. Welcome to Speedville. So I think we're gonna go all over the track today. I'm trying to get everything done today. Today is Friday. It's not officially fan day. By Saturday, this place is gonna be crawling. Crawling with people. So then what we did is we got on the golf cart and we went over the bridge. I can't tell which group of cars is loudest because they're all loud. Right now, it's kind of the open wheel cars. I think it's the 500 run group. And this is where you see stuff that looks like they might be retired Indy cars and, and some of those things, maybe uh, like Formula Ford or something. I don't know that much about this stuff, but it's super cool. Or Formula One. There's a couple of Formula One cars out there on the grid. I bet you'll see the FedEx car go by. On the top left, that's where we just came from. That golf cart is. Here we go, look at that. There it goes, there's the FedEx Formula One car. Now we're on the trail where you are headed over to the beach. In between here and the beach is a nice overview where you can park with your cart. I don't think we did at all. We just went straight to the beach. Beach is new. I think the beach is new. I don't know. Guys, is the beach new? Now we're headed back to the paddock. Morning session is over. 
lot of stuff to see. We're gonna check out that car and all those cars later. All right, just took a little, a long break. I'm walking through the real time trailer right now. And I'm about to go back out there and show you guys some more cool stuff. Cause there's a lot of cool stuff out there today. All right, let's go look at one of Colin Comer's cars. Colin's classic cars. Maybe one day I'll get him on the podcast. You've seen him on where he tells you how good your car is. How much it's worth. Yeah, let's go say hi. This is one of Colin's cars. All right, there goes, there goes Colin. He's walking away because he doesn't want to be part of this. It's really windy today, so hopefully this all shows up. Colin flies in this fucking thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at those controls. So that's Colin's classic car. Classic Colin auto. Comer is the whatever. Pretty much the authority in all things Shelby. I bought a book of his to support him. Probably never gonna read it. Oh, look how these things buckle. I feel comfortable getting close to this car because I know the guy. Anyone else will be looking at me like I'm gonna try to steal something. But this car is badass. And he drives it like a bat out of hell out there. So at the real time, we have my friend Ed Summers and his son Drew are here from Texas. This is a Science of Speed twin turbo Emola Orange NSX, orange on orange. One of very few, except for there's actually another one here today. Then we're gonna check out or Steve's badass S2000. It's that guy's. Doug Crofton. Can't miss him. Can't miss Doug because of his backpack. Is there a bug on me? This is John Vassos NSX. It's a Canadian car. When he bought it, it had like a lot of issues. The paint sucked, the roof sucked. He did a complete overhaul rebuild. Look at that. I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see how clean this is. He took this whole thing apart and I swear he cleaned every single bolt before he put it back together. Let's take a look. Yeah, so looking over this, look at the extreme detail. I don't know if anyone's as crazy as Mr. Vasos is to kind of take everything apart and clean it. In the background, you hear some girl kind of gushing over the NSX because her daddy gave her a ride. I think that might, yeah, never mind. This is next level clean though. He may have won the concourse had he get entered in the concourse. No offense, Ed. That is for sure the cleanest engine at Road America today. But I, I haven't seen, unless it's a brand new vehicle, I've never seen an engine this clean, ever. Not while it's in a vehicle. Very clean. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm kind of happy. Going through the paddocks with Doug, Look at these twins. A couple WeatherTech Vespas. Keep an eye on that WeatherTech Porsche. All right, we're gonna check out some of the goods back here. That BMW, let's whip it on that track. That thing is badass, I'm gonna check that out too. Wanna be on, wanna be on the video, Doug? What up? My oh, man, Doug, hello in a sexer. This thing is fancy and I'll be completely honest, I don't know, I couldn't tell you if it was the real deal or not. I'm not that experienced with these cars. I try to tell you guys, I don't really know shit about cars. But I know that's badass. More on that Porsche later. I know that's badass. <laughs> if you guys are actually watching this video, tell me in the comments what I'm looking at because just a lot of badassery around here. This thing was flying around the track earlier. Showed videos of it. Pretty impressive. Nice car wasn't this one. Every vehicle in the paddock didn't necessarily have track time. This is the main, pretty much one of the main tents. I, I don't think that charger went out. I didn't see it, but I didn't see every run group. Some of these cars you're going to see throughout this video, either on the track or in downtown Elkhart Lake. Yeah, so we were wrong. This is the one that was out there earlier. I believe that one was running in Collins Group. We were on the inside of turn 12. Mr. Herndon, this is for you, my BMW buddy. 
All right, it's time to check out this McLaren. This McLaren F1, the ultimate dream car for most people. Race going road car, 1996 McLaren F1 GTR chassis number 17. Do I know a lot about McLarens? No, but I can read. I'm just gonna stop talking so you guys can take it all in. Look at that interior. So what's funny is you can hear a vehicle. It is not this McLaren. It is, I think it's the R34 GTR in the background. Don't worry, I'll show it to you later. Most people's dream car at some point in their life was a McLaren F1. So when I was here in 2016, there were two of these. I thought there were two of them here now, but. This is a legit Super GT car. Those of you who are into Super GT or the JGTC cars. Jordan, this is for you. Doug and I are kind of walking down to his area, or where he was earlier, the Ferraris. Right about now, I it's nice today. was thinking I should have stolen a cart. But you can hear the cars buzzing in the background. A couple yeah, former yeah, F1 so cars there for you guys. So these are legit Formula One cars, and they are huge. We got footage of them on the track. You just gotta watch where you're walking so you don't trip over something that's very expensive. I used to watch Formula One all the time in the late 90s with Michael Schumacher racing for Ferrari. And admittedly, I don't really watch F1 now. I know who's good, I know who's not good. Okay, I only know who's good, but I used to sit there and watch it all day because I had nothing else better to do. Also on Speed Vision. But this is badass. You guys saw these cars whipping around too. Actually, they were out with, I think they ran the same time the Formula One car was ran. You can tell they're a little smaller, a little less polished, but still badass. Your car. Look at the size of that thing. Of course, you know, if someone starts the engine on a badass car, you're gonna go to it. So there's a value to this video. You can turn up the volume to listen to the cars, but the trade-off is you have to hear my voice. That's pretty cool. No shells. Good old John Player. No shell Friday. No shells. some real carbon fiber for you guys. All you hobbyists that put carbon fiber all over your cars, like me, the real stuff is at the racetrack. So this is one of them areas. This is like most Ferrari areas roped off. We probably could have gotten back there. I'm not sure. Didn't really try, to be honest with you. Got a few nice cars. In a future visit, they actually have one of the cars at number seven going. It's on, you'll hear that later, I think. I like looking at these cars, but as I said, I don't, I don't know much about them. I just think they look really cool. You guys wanna see a purple? A little purple Dino over there. 
that a natural color or did someone paint that color? I don't know much about F cars. Looks like one of those... Those nasty Easter eggs. Those marshmallow with a thick candy coating on them. Alright, Peter's getting ready to take off. I can see him. So let's go say, wish him good luck or something. Mikey. It's the man that really makes everything happen right there. Yeah. The guy driving. Need some deep concentration right there. Mr. Cunningham. I think he gave me a dirty look. There he goes. This is the second run of the day. I believe this run was cut short. Yeah, so we'll watch all these cars go through just so you guys can actually see some cars really up close, about five feet away from these cars on the other side of the wall. Once these cars go through, we're gonna hit uh, Elkhart Lake pretty soon. And that's one of the big highlights of the weekend, downtown Elkhart Lake. was nice. I got a bunch of photos of that. Couldn't tell if it was really fast or not. I don't know if it's driven, being driven by a, a really good driver. Oh there, there's that Porsche again, the McNeil one. Cooper McNeil Porsche. More on that coming up. Cool thing about knowing Peter is he knows everyone so he gets us into all sorts of different parties. Right now I'm eating pulled pork and bratwurst. And it's really good. All right, right now we are in downtown Elk Park Lake and the cars are coming back from the track. This is a huge event. There are a lot of people here. That's the jet powered car here to go by. They were firing it up when I was walking through the panel. We gotta go. I need credit. I had to give the camera to, to Gino so he can get some good footage for us. This is the parade of cars. Oh, there's that 22 again. You see that? There's McNeil. See that big cloud? It's because he kind of laid the rubber down. See that little guy coming up on the right on the bicycle? It's a police officer. There goes McNeil again, and boop, calling for backup. You guys can look it up. Cooper McNeil. Road America, Cooper McNeil, Elkhart Lake, 2023. Some controversy there. See how the cars go by, it's kind of a treat. And there goes one of my favorite cars, it's split window Corvette. This is a really special event for a lot of the public because they're not at the track like we are. I'm gonna pull my camera up because there's really nothing out here that we haven't seen all day at the track. Day two, Road America, up early. Leon, myself, Peter. First one's at the paddock. Let's take a look at this real-time car that he's going around with. These things are stock 201 horsepower at the crank. This one is modified. This is actually the slowest of his two. This is 275 horsepower at the crank, which is still two, three, four, five hundred horsepower less than most of the cars in his group. That giant group that I was talking about earlier. But it's Peter Cunningham, so, you know, he's still very competitive. This is the rest of uh, some of his run group getting ready to go. So, myself and Leon jumped in the golf cart. Check out that open wheel car. Down to turn five. Watch the man go around. Just watch some of the rest of the cars here kind of come down. It's always cool. This is, I think this is my favorite corner. And just like that, morning session's over. I think he qualified 16 seconds in front of the second place guy. So Leon is my valet today. Leon, how long have you been working for Road America? Uh, at least a good 14 minutes. 14 minutes, he says. We're headed over to Race Control right now. So that's Race Control over there, that building on the right. That's where all the cool stuff is. 
slow over traffic, keep right. Well, that was exciting. There's a cool picture on the wall. That's what we wanted to go see. A cool picture on the wall, race control. So Leon and I spotted this NSX. Leon owns a red NSX as well. It, you would think it's a 91 or 92. Or four. Except for it's a Targa, which means this was either a black car painted red or a red car with the top painted black. I'm guessing it's a red car with the top painted black. So this car doesn't exist in reality anywhere other than if you want to make it up yourself. So there were only hard top coupes from 1991 to 1994. There were no Targas. Kind of a nice car. It's got some inkies on there. Very period correct looking. This isn't an A1. So this was a 95 or 96. Because there are no NA1. You see? Yep, it's manual. There are no any one blacktop Targas that aren't black. Did I say that right? No. Okay. I'm trying to have a conversation at a racetrack. <laughs> oh, this Porsche is dope. Yeah. It's a nice 993. Yes. I'm going to check out Tom Clark. Is it Tom Clark? Yeah, there's a Tom, there's two Tom Clarks. There's a Honda one and what's the other one? Like yeah, a, I don't know what the other one was. Like a Lexus? Yeah, that might be it. Oh yeah, that. So there's, there's a Tom Clark Lexus. Look at this thing real quick. You know, not a lot of Hondas out there, so when you see one, you have to take a look, you know what I mean? I think he used to be a, maybe one of the first race car drivers from King Motorsports. That's the rumor. All right, what are you guys seeing? I can tell John hasn't cleaned this motor. <laughs> I can promise you that. Did you ever have one of these? I did not. Of course, it's a Prelude. What's that? Prelude is my first Honda. Prelude is your first? Yeah. It's actually Bob Clark. I said yeah, Tom Clark. Bob it's right Bob there. Clark. Sorry, Bob. So what does it take to have a CRX race car? Quick release. Steering wheel. Air. Fire suppressant. Hans device. For safety. Yeah. Of all the cars here, I'm giving you a tour of a fucking CRX. We're on our way over, check out these Ferraris on the right. Kit car, kit car, kit car. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they build for you? Little Ferrari. Ferrari usually has a big display presence. More than you can afford, pal. <laughs> See if we're running into Ed and the boys. We're on the inside golf cart class. The so one thing that I said on the podcast is the accessibility to the track is pretty fantastical. The track itself is four miles, four point something miles around. So you're going to want something like a golf cart to get around. You saw this on day one. This is an actual race. That's why they have the pace car, and here comes Peter Cunningham. He had posted, I think he had qualified for fifth overall. Of all those cars, he has one of the slowest, but fifth overall, like you know, 30, 30 or so cars. Coming around for their first real lap. At this point, he's already up in fourth place. Fourth overall, first in his class. The beach. The beach, Mario. This is the beach. Here they come. Drop back to fifth overall. Leaving the beach. Hit her back through the real time paddock. The 348 gets a shout out. There's a really cool C7R behind me. We're going to go check it out because that thing is dope. Guys, yeah, check out this C7R. This thing was ripping around the track. 
This is pretty sick. Do you guys like the C7s still, or do you like the C8s more? I actually still like the C7s. No offense, Mr. Drew Buckley, C8 Matrix. Obviously, this is a race car, but man, to me, this is the best body style so far. So Colin had some issues with his Mountain Dew car. That's why the C7R is sitting there. More trips to the paddocks. So this is the turbine powered car. This is a turbine powered car. Oh yeah, just said that. I think it's loud. Very loud, in fact, you heard it go by in the parade. Pretty cool. Getting ready to record Peter pulling out, no pun intended. And then I'm gonna get in and we're gonna go downtown to the concourse. This is little Honda Acti. I want one of those. It belongs to the K class of vehicles. This thing has a top speed of like 50. He's leaving me. Why do you hate it when I have a camera? Because you're not to be trusted. Why am I not to be trusted? Because you might get B-roll that's incriminating. I've gotten in trouble for that before. I don't think I have anything this weekend to worry about. Anything else? I'm not, I'm not gonna delete this, just so you know. It's going on record. Peter hates it when I have a recording device out. Leon? Yes. Where are we going? To create some C-roll. See head behind us. I see what you did there. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that an all-wheel drive Integra? It is. Those Porsches are more interesting. Up here. Patron El Alto. El stop, the stop. Patron the stop. You have to take it with your first Mexico drink. Mexico Alto means think, stop. Leon? El Alto. Could be tall. I probably drink more tequila this weekend than I ever have in my life. I like that. Ready? I like it. It's good tequila. Oh. We weren't really big fans of that oh. one. That's one that Ed brought. That's, that's nice. All right, let's take advantage of staging for this event. Look at Hoffman's NSX's. Carbon this 6. This is NC1 wide body custom. You guys look that up. This thing is pretty sick. We'll go look at the old car after that one. So have you done anything to the motor at all? Or? This thing is sweet, man. This thing is sweet. I don't know if he plans on selling these kits. So you, then you have the forged carbon, you guys see that? Forged carbon. It's carbon six. Take a look under the hood here. Look at that. Yeah, this is filthy. How can you bring it to this event? Come on, Jeff. If I keep my Type S long term, mean, I'll probably buy some of this stuff because it's really nicely done, as you can see. This is another one. This is his homemade, like Jeff made this, homemade wide body NSX, individual throttle bodies. I think it's fantastic. The interior is from an RDX. Let's go around to the other side. Steering wheel is from a Civic. Those buttons. Yeah, so that entire center they work. is from an RDX. That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna walk around with Leon here. Leon is good with refreshments. Ice water. It's not ice water. Ice water. There you go. Cheers. Cheers on the ice water. <laughs> Pedro is drinking his ice water. All right, let's, let's go look at some stuff. So we just spent a long time talking to Brad, which is the son of the guy who owns this F40 LM. He also owns a Casino White NSX. It's Brad S. digging around in the car right now. Excellent taste. You know, this is probably my favorite part of the video is going through downtown Elkhart Lake during the concourse event. It's a GTS. It's a 98, 97, I think, I think a 97. Comment in the comments if you think you know what year this is. 
but I'm saying it's a 97 or 98, possibly 2000, definitely not 2002. 2000, there we go. I used to work security at the bar. I'd see these drive by and say, one day I'm gonna have a Viper. This spec, I don't like the blacked out. It was like 20 years ago, I still don't have one. Tail lights, but I think this is pretty much everyone's dream car. Over 20 years ago. Because we all love Vipers. Louder, tell us the story. I was 17. So, I wasn't supposed to drive it. Said, did you drive it? I did. He let me drive it in Red Rock Canyon. Red Rock Canyon, they rented one when he was 17 and he blew the motor. <laughs> yes. Which ones have the targets? Is it a 280? This is a 240. No, the 280s came later. So I had a friend named Alan in high school who drove it. Are those stock wheels you guys know? That champagne color. That, that Datsun. So this is a survivor, which means no one's ever, exactly, means hasn't been restored. This is a Pantera. De Tommaso Pantera, 1972. Guys, tell me down in the comments which one you like the most. You guys want to go to Seepkins? I have hard parking stickers and coasters in my pocket so that I can slap them on the wall. You'll see that Ferrari again later. So we're going to go check out Jeff's Aston Martin. Let's go check it out. Different Jeff from earlier. There's a lot of J's here this weekend. I've met so many Jeffs and Johns. No proper J's. That's really nice. 660 horsepower LS3. So a lot of cars we've seen out here, um, you know, Leon wanted you to see one in particular. Can you point it out? All right, let's check out this Elantra real quick. This Elantra is limited edition. Don't quote me on that. It's got the special race spec wheels. They look like they're sprayed on, but that's not necessarily the case. That's how they come. It's a special bleed over effect. This thing is really hot. You know, all it really needs is like a headlight restoration kit. Am I slurring? <laughs> Am I slurring? I don't know if I'm slurring. But it does need a headlight restoration kit. Water is definitely yeah, this water is fucking dirty. This is Jeff's car here. This first one? Dark blue, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. There he is over there. Look at he's eating his free food, talking it up, getting his free yeah. drink. Look at there's a the guy on the left with the hat. Aston Martin. This is this is really nice. I don't know if you guys can see the blue. I like Aston Martins. I like them a lot. I like the older ones though. I like these. A little little older, not old. They're not old. Yeah. Little DB. Oh, there's the, the SUV. I saw one at Monterey, but I haven't seen one up close. This thing is sweet. Look at that tail lights. Are they any good? You guys know if those are actually any good? I know I know they're Aston Martin, so it's a dice roll. Look at that. Looks great. Check this out. Look at that. Look at that interior. Probably not a Home Depot car. That is cool. Wow. If I can't take my SUV to Home Depot, it's useless. You guys know anything about these cars? I love that guy on the right, Charlie in the chocolate factory. What's the guy with the BMW hat on? In the Aston Martin. In the Aston Martin corral. What are you doing? He's got my Aston Martin over there. Yeah, we saw it. We keyed it. All right, we're done fucking around with Jeff. I don't really like that. I don't like that front. I don't. I don't really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a repeat? A repeat? Is that how you say that? Repeat. 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 Where's the 2002 to 2006 of Vanquish? No V12 Vanquishes That's there. That's the car. That's my car. That's what I want. There goes our Elantra, playing some Fast and Furious music. There's no reason for me to record this other than it was loud and it was kind of cool. I just had to pull Leon away from Jeff because... He's about to buy a car. Yes, so I told you that... I told you that Peter texted us and he didn't. 
<laughs> You're welcome. Jeff's Aston is cool, but this is special. Is it okay for me to say, guys, if you think this is entertaining and fun and you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe and the bell notification. This is not what I normally do, but subscribe anyway. We have a lot to look at here. Yeah, one of the new ones. It's cool. This is, it just doesn't, doesn't scream Ferrari to me. I love the A12s. I love the F12s. So, Leon says it looks like a Lotus Evora. Is it window line? I don't know if I'm going to go that far. This car punches above my weight class. Alright, we're on. We're talking shit about everything. I don't like, I don't like that Viper. That's like the 02 to 06 or 05. I like those lights. Some nice Porsches. It's a speedster. It is a speedster, 2011 speedster. And here we have a modern McLaren. It's nice. I think this was at throttle. No, this is convertible. So this is a 765 Spider. Really cool, really nice, really modern. All over Scottsdale. Not interested. <laughs> it's nice though. Look at that. Everybody except for me has one. I love that. That is nice. Yeah, all right. Look at this. It's MG week, like I said earlier. It's actually Triumph. Themed weekend. Moving on. Check out this lovely. Because it is lovely. You guys didn't know this is a 2023 Super 3, which is in Group 9, Morgan. People are like, damn, he knows a lot. No, I can read. That's, that's kind of cool, right? That's kind of cool. I want wheels like that on my Infinity. That'd be really cool. Now I know they make them. This, uh, is this British Racing Green? It's 2006 Vantage V8. A uh, beautiful car. Which one? Would you take this or Jeff's? I don't think I would complain This or Jeff's? Either. What? Both. Both. Okay. One for each of us. Such a cop-out answer. So Leon has a hard on about this SLS. Serious. Look at him not wearing sweatpants. He's not. He's about. wearing. He is wearing sweatpants. So he wants to look at this. I was just saying because Jeff has customized buttons in his Aston Martin and I bought some really cool ones for my Infinity and I showed them to my wife and she's like that's cool but why? Why do you waste all that money on an old car? Why do you waste all that money? That's what we do. We're car people. Car people waste money on car shit. That's what we do. That's nice. It's really nice. So I have a bunch of these at the track. I guess these are kind of a one-off build. Maybe it's got a Buick motor or a Stradale. No? So Peter said he drove these. He wasn't a big fan of them. I think they look cool. Let's go on the other side for a better view because these people are in my way. Am I talking too loud? Yeah, guys, when you see a camera, move your ass. Look at that. What do you guys think of the Stradales? Comment below. Comment below on your favorite vehicle. Stradali, Stradali. I think they're cool looking. So we're about two blocks away from where we started. Pretty nice cars. There's a lake. All right. That's like the 2014, 2015 Viper. I'm not crazy about the color, the Golf sort of inspired livery, but I love those cars. Yep, 17 GTS. Oh, that's Kana's, Kana year? Comer's yeah, car me, right there. The I didn't even notice it. Maybe not park it next to a Viper. Otherwise, I don't know shit. Is there any more cars? That's it? Is that all? That's it? So I overheard someone talking, but I don't know if this is a singer or not. But in Monterey, 
a few years ago. They had a shit ton of them. Yes, Jay. It's very nice. It's nice. Giddy. That's kind of silence. Singer. I guess I could. Moment of silence is so nice. Paper, but I didn't. If I had the money, this would be one of my FU cars. Hey, lady, move. Come on, lady, get on my way. What the fuck? Keep moving. There we go. Oh, go ahead. Yep. Just the people walking in front of me. It's a PCA mobile. I appreciate these old Porsches. Not into them. Beautiful. Jason Lowe, where are you at with your double, triple, quadruple spacers? You want to see a what? Secret bar is open in Seacons. There's a secret bar of Seacons? In the basement of this building. What? Yeah. Shut up. I haven't been there. We should try to go there. Okay, see so all the cultural variety. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go rendezvous with our people. You need to eat faster. Can you have any more, please? Where's the Where's the chips? Chips and fries are both still in proper order. Oh, I missed it. All right. Thank you, John. And as a matter of fact, would you, would Say you hi. be happy to uh, bring it down for everybody? John might be one of the nicest guys <laughs> on the planet. No, no one needs to know where I got that from. <laughs> so Leon, so there's a few cars that have ITBs. Leon, needs, he knows a lot about ITBs. Tell us what, go ahead. Well, Straight face, please. You got two meanings, right? So, so, so ITB has two meanings. Individual throttle body. Individual throttle world. body, yep. And in other worlds. Yeah. Means in the butt. In the butt, okay, we're done. Speaking of in the butt, man, Jeff's in a sex. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Are you narrating Woo! it Woo! Yeah. Hey, you want to tell Jeff what the other meaning of? Oh, I said it already. There's two meanings for ITV. What? Two meanings for ITV. Individual throttle body and in the butt. Oh. Okay, yeah. See, I went to go on there, but you went. Yeah, he went there many times. He went there many times. Yes, yes. So Leon says there's a secret bar in the bottom of the seat kids, and I don't, I don't believe him. I'm gonna follow him and he's gonna film me going to the secret bar. Also, that saxophone sucks. Jay doesn't believe it. <laughs> if it's downstairs, why are we going up? <laughs> we already went down. We get... There's no secret. Yeah, over to the right. There you go. To the left. There it is. Boom, secret bar. <laughs> All right, so Leon was correct. We're inside this top secret bar. We had to give that guy a lot of money. Actually, we didn't because I don't have any. <laughs> but uh, wow, never knew about this. Peter know about this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get something to drink. Not his because he lives here. Yeah. We've been in in here a couple times, but. Who told you about this? It's actually Jake. 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 Okay, Jake Cole. Jake, he had found it initially after talking to the bartenders in the regular sequence bar. Yeah. To figure this out, so. Which is, as you can see, we're the only patrons here. The bar to We are the only patrons here. This is cool. Let's see, let's see <laughs> a look at this wall here. See if they have anything. It's good stuff. I've actually never had Russell's. Uh, okay. Michter's. Did I say it Michter's? I never knew. It's like Miter's, Michter's? Yeah, I, don't know. I think somebody mm -hmm. told me Michter's. Very good. Boom. Hard parking. Comes out every Monday. Hard parking with Jay Finning. That is me. That is my voice. That is my second decal. And Seepkins, the whole time we were at Seepkins, this time on this trip, we never once grabbed a beer. There's still a ton of people out here after our vodka excursion. Top secret place does exist. Yeah. Let's go find our minivan. So, yeah, there's Cooper. Kind of went with it. It's in the dunk tank. He lost rights to the track all weekend because of his stunt he pulled the previous night, but he kind of rolled with it. And there goes our F40 LM. This is the official rollout of the concourse. 
So that F40 was a factory converted by Ferrari, well that's what factory means, to an LM spec. It's a very long day. Lots of ice water at least, so we stay hydrated. We did actually have smart water in Fiji water. Bolt pattern on a thing. There goes our Morgan. All right, it's time to go back to our rental house. I have a splitting headache. So this is no bullshit. This guy has wolves. That's not a wolf. Definitely not a wolf. What's up, buddy? Those are legit wolves. Wolf dogs. Like 80% wolf. All right. A little scary for me. It's our third day at the track. It is Sunday, hanging out. Peter doesn't race till like three and some change, so we're just rolling around in the golf cart. It's fun, having a good time. This is my good time face. Down at the beach. This time they have the Ferraris going because they're going to take them out on the track pretty soon. There's a lot of money in this paddock. This is where all the Concourse winners are. They set them up here at Road America the next day. There's Ed's uh, NSX back there. So John's car. The Ferrari F40 LM. So John in the blue is the one who gave us I'm some food. Really you up winning like best of show or something. Let's go check it out. Which is fitting because he has a triumph. Circle. And we'll get ready here in just two or three minutes. So come on in, thank you. I can appreciate this car a lot. Thank you. And there's some very historic cars indeed. And we're gonna talk about This thing is pretty badass. I don't remember if that was on the track or not. Probably not. It's out here, so it won something. All these cars won something. This is like the showdown. That's super cool. So you get all the winners together. Like a 765. And pick really nice. the best of whatever category. But you're not getting videos of that. People's choice. Okay, we're going to start with the people's choice today. And Bless you. Really neat, uh, Told you we'd see this thing again. Old Daytona. If I get any of these cars wrong, feel free to tell me in the comments. You guys notice it's a right-hand drive? Check that out. Right-hand drive. And the Ferraris are getting ready to go out on the track. So what we did is we climbed to the top of this tower that used to be used for zip lining and watched the Ferraris go around. Just listen to that. So 333 up front, I believe one of the Ferraris from the original Le Mans, the classic 24-hour war, Ford v Ferrari cars, I think. That era, for sure. Back to the paddock, food time. Picked up Jake, you won't see him on here. Right hand drive coming back. Started to break down the paddock, as you can see, no more flooring. Cars have been pulled out. Getting ready for Mr. Cunningham's last run. Last race of the day, Peter would go on to finish, I think, sixth overall, 
First in his class. Not bad for a 275 horsepower grocery getter. I think that Camaro has like 600 horsepower. He ended up passing him at the last second, but different class. Same group, different class. Decided to leave it here so you guys can hear the cars go by all at once. First lap is always the best lap because that's when everybody is kind of together before they start to break apart. Leaders separate. And just like that, the weekend's wrapping up. As you can see, there's no more tent around me. Time to go home. Time to load everything up. This was a fantastic weekend. It's the first time I'd been there since 2016. And good time with good people, great people. And I recommend, if you've never been to Road America, to go to Road America, especially for this WeatherTech International Challenge Finish Car Weekend. One last look at the traffic. It's one of the coolest things about the spot is all the cars are coming off the course and going their separate ways. Guys, if you like this, enjoy this, hit a like, comment below, subscribe if you'd like to. And we'll see you guys on the next video. It's up like Hard Barking Podcast. Jay Benny, check it out. Shut up!